Hey folks, Michael McGee here. In today's video, we're gonna butcher a turkey. Some people don't really know how to do it, strangely enough. Seems like an odd thing for somebody not to know how to butcher a turkey, but you got it. Some people don't know how. They are a little on the small side, aren't they? Oh. All right, this young chick right here is going to be a tender little butter ball. We're going to take it over to the cone. We're gonna put it in the cone. We're gonna de-head it, and then we're gonna scald it. You need to help hold it in. Uh, I think you'll be all right. Nice try. <laughs> nice try. Uh huh. Can't get past these two 40 year olds, can you? <laughs> What's your guess? Uh, 150. Maybe. I, I think it's going to be 150 as well. Okay. All right, we'll put her in there. These young, tender ones, they do easy, I tell you. Them old beggins out of the woods that's been running around in the woods for three years. They're nothing like this. All right, I believe it's long enough. Let's put her in the plucker. Matt, you want to run the water? Go ahead and turn the water on. Here we go. Boy, that didn't take long. Look at that. Wow. There's only a couple little wing feathers that if I'd have left it on a little longer, it would have got them, but. That was about 10 seconds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, look at these feet peeling off. Unbelievable. Dude, those are tiny. Yeah. That's gonna be some good eating right there. All right, we're gonna take this to the table and get her gutted. These feet actually scalded and came clean, so they'll probably end up using them for broth, making broth. And so, here we go. We're gonna start on the front end with this one, and we're just gonna take a hold of the skin, work our way up all the way to the breastbone. That's gonna allow us to separate the crawl from the skin. Sometimes they separate pretty easy, these is a, young birds like this separate even easier. So we've got it separated. Now we're going to just simply start on the back end of the bird. This probably won't pull through that hole. So what we're gonna do is just go ahead and cut it off, just like this. And I pinch that when I do it, that way a lot of this don't come out. These are just like chickens, except ganglier, more you have more room to work. So we're just gonna get under that skin. We don't wanna get into the guts, so we take it easy. Now you see the hole is developing. I'm gonna go all the way down to the tail. I'm gonna come across, just like that. We're gonna do the same exact thing, go all the way to the tail. Once we get to the tail, we're gonna go against that backbone and just cut that loose. At that point, we are free to roll. I'm gonna pick it up. I always grab it by the wings like this. Stick my hands in, loosen that up. Two fingers just around this, this gizzard, you just hook it with two fingers to get it to this point, and then just keep it going. There's the liver. The gizzard and the liver and all the intestines are here. The only thing left is the heart, and that's right here. That heart is no bigger than the chicken hearts. Actually, it's smaller. <laughs> so there's no reason to sit and feed birds for years and years. If you're ready to butcher them, butcher them. They don't have to be up to a specific weight. So that's just exactly how easy it is to get a chicken completely ready for your oven, or however, however you want to cook it, whatever you want to do. From this point, we're gonna put it in cold water, chill it, it can go in the freezer, you can can the meat, do whatever, whatever you wanna do. You can smoke that bad boy. But that's all we've got. 
Fortunately for you, that's a short, easy video because it's that easy to do. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.